Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is McKenna if you're new here and today we are doing a product empties video and I'm also eating my current pregnancy craving. These have been my pregnancy craving for a long time. This massive free people bag is completely full of empty products and we're gonna go through and say if it was worth it, not worth it, and if I would repurchase. So I've been holding on to these for several months now because I've been wanting to make this video and I'm so excited to be finally making this video and we have some good products in here that I definitely will be repurchasing and that I would highly recommend. So without further ado, let's dive into it. After one more piece, you guys, these are so good. Also because I know I'm gonna probably get some questions on this denim jacket. This is from Free People, it's a size small. I will link it below along with all of the other products I will link below. So if you want to shop any of them, you can obviously I make a little bit of a commission. I really don't make that much off of it. But if you do choose to support my links, it is greatly appreciated and it helps support my family and I love you so much for it. So even just watching this video, if you like watch my videos and never like or anything like that, you're still supporting me and I appreciate you. So make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Okay, let's dive in to some products. First products that I'm gonna start with are a staple in my skincare routine, something that I have fallen in love with this last year. I think I started using this product probably the beginning of last year because I remember my sister-in-law recommended it to me at Christmas time and I went home after our Christmas vacation in Disneyland and I had to purchase it and try it. It was so good. I have gone through probably like three or four of these. I have loved the Tatcha, the rice wash right here. It's just a face wash that is so good. It very lightly like exfoliates, but it's not rough. It's made, I think it's, yeah, it's made in Japan and it's from when you wash or rinse your rice. I think that's kind of like their base. It's just soft, creamy. It feels so luxurious on the skin. Along with this, all of Tatcha's products are so good. I love their lip mask and also their dewy skincare cream. I have gone through multiple of these as well, completely scraped the bottom clean. Definitely have repurchased this as well and will continue to repurchase this because it's so good. I'm currently using one right now. Love, 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 and I highly recommend. They are a little bit pricey, but I just use a tiny little bit and it lasts me quite a bit of time. I feel like it lasts me a long time. And these products are so good. Couldn't live without. This is also really good for me to go through this bag finally and make this video because then I can throw everything out. Finally, I've been hanging on to it for way too long. And with us moving soon, I'm like, we need to get rid of a ton of stuff. Okay. While we're still on the lines of Tatcha, I have a few more products from Tatcha that I have completely used up. So this is their lip mask. It's so good. Again, used every last drop of it because it's that good. And I will repurchase this. I haven't yet because I just ran out and I just discovered this. Went through it so fast, but this is so good. I constantly had it in my purse and with me and I was constantly reapplying. It's just so good. I love, love, love. Definitely would recommend that. And then same with Tatcha. I've gone through two of these bottles now. I have both. This is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And I wonder if I can get a few sprays out of this. It's just very, very refreshing when you spray it on your face. Every time I came upstairs, brushed my teeth, whatever, whether I was doing my skincare, whether I had makeup on, I would just mist this over my face and it kind of felt like a little refresh. That's why I feel like you wouldn't go through these so fast if you were just using them after your skincare or something like that. But I use these to like set my face. I use these every opportunity that I got and it is so good. So again, if you're looking for something kind of luxurious, this entire Tatcha whole setup is so good. Brands, one of my favorite skincare brands ever and we'll always go back to Tatcha. Okay, well, I thought I had a couple of these in there but I don't know where the other can went because I have used up two entire bottles of this Bobbi Brown hydrating face cream. And I like it. Would I repurchase? Probably not. If I was going to spend this kind of money, I would be getting the Tatcha over this. I think I picked this up at, it was like a consignment shop and the lady who owned the shop had, she also had another job where she did a lot of skincare and stuff like that. And so she would sell products that were not used. And this was really cheap. I think this is normally like $60 and I picked it up for 20, the whole thing. It had never been used. So I got two of them, I believe. And very, very very good skin cream. Like I have nothing bad to say about it. There's even actually a little bit more left in there that must have just like all condensed together when it was sitting in the bag. I'm going to just apply it to my neck. I actually think when I got my Tatcha, I like fell in love with the Tatcha and just started using the Bobbi Brown skin cream on my neck instead. But I have nothing bad to say about it. I just wouldn't repurchase because I would go towards the Tatcha instead of this, but definitely a good nothing. Also, I'm not like a huge, the, the smell of it kind of smells like a leathery, like it doesn't smell as refreshing as the Tatcha. 
That didn't bother me though. It just kind of has a like a leathery smell. I don't know how to describe it, but anyways, moving on. We can't take too much time with this because otherwise this video will be so long. I already feel like it's gonna be a long video. Next thing I wanna talk about is another luxurious product that I 100% 10 out of 10 recommend. It is so good. It's worth the money. I totally understand if you cannot afford it because it is very, very expensive. And I was very lucky to have been sent it to try it. And now I'm hooked. It's kind of supposed to be like Botox in a bottle, but this is the Lancome Serum. Let's see if it'll focus. The Lancome Advanced Concentrate Youth Activating Serum. So this is like Botox in a bottle, like I said, and it's I use this completely up. The stuff that's in there is actually a different product because I liked this bottle that I was using, but it just, it wasn't working. So the product that you're seeing in there is actually not the product itself. I have used two of these little guys and then I had one big one. Again, all of them were sent to me, so I'm very, very fortunate, but I did repurchase this. So the one that I have, I bought because I love it so much. It's just like a serum that you put on your skin after you cleanse your face and stuff like that. And I added it to my skincare routine and I feel like this changed my skin so much. I love it. It's very luxurious too. And I use it every single night. So it was worth it for me. Let's talk about another line of products that I really love. And this is the first aid beauty. We have the radiant facial pads right here. I went through all of these and I do have another box, can, whatever you want to call this that I'm working through right now. So I would recommend these because they were great. They're just like a glycolic acid fit. So these are facial radiant pads with glycolic and lactic safe for sensitive skin. And I just use it as like a little pad, cleansing pad, not cleansing. I use it after my cleanser and I just like rub it all over my face and very easy to use. Love it. Completely empty here. Another thing that I liked from First Aid Beauty was their Intense Hydration Skin Protective Oatmeal. I don't know. This though, right here, this little bottle. It's the most hydrating like body lotion. Like I was using this all over my skin when I got out of the shower. It went so fast because I loved it and I used it every time my skin was needing some moisture, especially here in Colorado. My skin is always so dry. So went through this, love this. I don't know why I haven't repurchased because I probably will next time I see this. I think these are at the drugstore even. Not totally sure, but also Ulta and I'll link them below. So would recommend that. Another thing I like and would recommend is the hydrating serum with hyaluronic acid, safe for sensitive skin. It's just like a hydrating serum from First Aid Beauty as well. I like the application process. There's oh, a little bit left in there. I guess there was a little bit more. I'll put it on my neck too, but this is so good. And I just ran out of this like I think yesterday or the day before, I would repurchase this and I probably will repurchase that within the next week or so, but we're gonna apply it to my neck because why not? <laughs> Along with all of the other First Aid Beauty products is the firming cream from, again, First Aid Beauty and with peptides and collagen. So this, again, I, I've been loving my moisturizer lately, tons and tons, because Colorado is so stinking dry and I can see my skin aging and I know it's Colorado. I feel like I started getting a lot more fine lines when I moved to Utah and Colorado. And so I have been upping it on the skincare routine and upping it on all of my moisturizers. So I've been going through them a lot faster than I think that you would. Definitely would recommend this too as well. I'm gonna get another one. I love my Tatcha and I also love this. I kind of was bouncing back and forth between these creams. I have fallen in love with First Aid Beauty. I think that First Aid Beauty is really awesome and definitely a staple that I will be using going forward. So First Aid Beauty, Tatcha, and I also love Drunk Elephant. I feel like those are kind of my top three skincares that I absolutely love. There, And then obviously the Lancome. I, there's a lot of products that I really like, but I love trying new products. I feel like I'm always changing it up because I get sent a lot of stuff. I like to buy things and try things and obviously to like recommend to you guys. So I kind of consider it as part of my job a little bit. But anyways, this is another great one. And I think it's a little bit than Tatcha. So if you're looking for something a little bit more budget friendly, I think that this is. We get... We gotta ramp this up a little bit. I'm kind of taking forever. Okay, so I loved the Pore Release Blackhead Clearing Solution from Hero. I went through this whole bottle, completely dry, and absolutely loved it. I haven't repurchased. Will I repurchase? Maybe. I'm not like running out to go get it right now, but I felt like it also was really great on my skin. It helps with blackheads, which I always have like blackheads here. And sometimes I'll get some down here. So I would just like put it on a little white cotton pad and I would just rub it into my skin when I was using it. So definitely another good product. I feel like most of the products that I have that are products that I would recommend. So unfortunately, a lot of these are really good products that I'm showing you guys, because if I don't like a product, I give it away to one of my sisters or if it's like a really bad product, I just toss it. Like I don't really 
hang on to it. So most of these products are good, except for the next one I'm going to show you guys. I think I wouldn't recommend. So hold on. Okay, this is kind of a little bit of a touchy subject. I don't really like to talk about products that I don't like because I only want to keep the positive vibes here. But I also want to be real with you guys. So I bought Monet from somebody who was selling it a while back. It might have even been over a year ago. And I used it for a little bit. And as I was as I was going through all of my products and getting rid of things, I found the I found these deep in my drawer and just have not used it or reached for it. I had their shampoo and conditioner and I used all of it and I didn't notice a difference. People were saying that your hair grows like 10 times faster. It just like grows really fast. It's really great, blah, blah, blah. I was using all of their products and I didn't notice that. So I never repurchased it. I never finished all of the products that I bought, which was kind of a bummer because it was kind of expensive. This is the Unknot Detangler. I don't, I didn't really have anything life-changing with it. So I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend the shampoo and conditioner. This is the leave-in restore conditioner right here for dry hair. It's still pretty full. I don't think I would recommend it either. And I wouldn't repurchase, I guess I should say. Maybe that's a better way of putting things. And then the split end men. I like have almost completely used this. Did I didn't. I, I personally didn't. So, and I was so excited about this because I have a ton of split ends. Obviously I like bleach my hair. I do a lot to my hair. I don't put a whole lot of heat on it anymore, but I, I bleach it. So I thought that this would be like a great product and kind of let me down. So I was kind of bummed about that, but I wouldn't repurchase. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's talk about a product that I love. I have loved for maybe 10 years and I've gone through so many bottles of this, I can't even count. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, right here, is so good, especially if you're on a budget. I feel like it's around 10 bucks. I feel like that's a really good price for mascara, especially good mascara. And then sometimes I'll use the primer that they have. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Base Mascara Primer. And it's, it just comes in white little bottle. I love this. I feel like it makes my eyelashes so long. And then I have this in the blackest black right here and then the brown as well. And I have loved this mascara. I have gone through so many tubes and bottles of this mascara. Recently, Lancome sent me their mascara and I have been converted and I will use that. But when it comes to me buying my own mascara, I will always buy this because it's just so much more cost-effective better price, $10 a tube, can't beat it. And I remember I used to pay, I think around 25 or 30 bucks for a tube of mascara. And I used to buy the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. Loved that mascara. It's great mascara, but it is a lot more expensive. Obviously it's more than two times this. And I feel like this is a great dupe for it. So I switched and converted to this and I haven't gone back. So I've been using this for like eight years. And once I finish my Lancome mascara, I will probably go back to this. I don't think that, I, I don't know why I just like can never justify spending so much on makeup because I don't wear a ton of makeup. I can justify spending more on my skincare and that's kind of where I spend my money. So definitely recommend these, love these, have repurchased. I have some unopened bottles on back stock and we'll pull out when I'm done with my Lancome mascara. Okay, next product, let's talk about The Ordinary Hair Care Multi-Peptide Serum for Hair Density. I went through this whole bottle. Well, there's like a teeny bit at the bottom I probably could squeeze out, but I didn't notice my hair getting any longer. I, I am not going to repurchase this. I'm actually going to repurchase or I'm going to purchase and try the Babe Lash Hair Serum. I've heard really good things about that and I wanna try that one. I decided to go with this one first because this one's a little bit cheaper and I'm like, if this one works, this is where I will be going. The Babe Lash one is very expensive, but I'm gonna give it a try, especially since I'm coming up on my due date and I'm gonna be struggling with postpartum hair loss and all of that fun stuff that nobody likes to deal with. So I definitely will start on the Babe Lash Serum or the Babe Hair Serum and try that out. And I can report back and let you guys know if I like it better. But as far as this goes, I won't be repurchasing. So along the lines of Babe Lash, I love Babe Lash because I do notice a difference when I use their eyebrow and eyelash serums. This is a conditioner. This one is completely gone. And I don't know why I didn't keep the bottle from the eyebrow and lash serum, but I have gone through multiple tubes of those. And Honestly, my eyebrows have gotten so much thicker since using it. My eyelashes, I notice a massive difference when I'm using them. I tried the Ordinary this this last time. Right now, the, the eyebrow and eyelash serum that I'm using is from the Ordinary, and I'm not loving it. I, I don't see the results that I saw with the Babe Lash. That's why I want to try the Babe Lash hair, because 
I see results when I use it on my eyebrows and my eyelashes. So I will go back to Babe Lash for all of the hair things on my face. Kind of a random one, but this lotion, so good. I go through so many of these. Completely hit the bottom. It's very hydrating. I need as much moisture as I can get here in Colorado. I definitely will be repurchasing and I already have because I have a whole nother bottle of it that I am using when I get out of the shower along with my pregnancy oils and stuff like that, which is almost gone. I've been using Hatch Mama belly, belly oil and it's been great. And then I've been using this to like lotion up my whole body after I get out of the shower in hopes to like avoid stretch marks. Obviously, you know, there's only so much you can do. I need to drink more water, but love this stuff. Body wash that I just recently finished is the native body wash will i repurchase probably not it wasn't bad i liked it i just have other i've been going through other body washes and honestly it's just convenient for me to pick up like the dove body wash from sam's club <laughs> so that's probably where i'll go this was sent to me in pr from native and it was great loved it have nothing bad to say about it it's just more convenient for me to pick stuff up at like costco or sam's club so i'll probably just go with dove or whatever they have there kind of random this is an empty bottle of what was rose water spray and I used to use this all over my face as just setting or like refreshing my face and stuff like that. I used the whole bottle of rose water and then I started filling it with regular water and I would use it to wet my hair after I did the heatless curls and it was a great little bottle but I just recently got a bottle that you hold and it just keeps spraying like a continuous spray bottle so much easier than this and it won't give me carpal tunnel. So we're getting rid of this bottle. This product is so good. I can't believe I haven't repurchased it yet, but I just ran out. So I will be repurchasing it. This is the Rare Beauty setting spray. It has like a rosy scent, which reminds me a lot of the last bottle I just showed you, but this one is a hundred times better. It's so good. And I will be repurchasing. Lila always takes the caps off things and loses them. So that's why a lot of my products don't have caps on it, but definitely will be repurchasing. I love Rare Beauty highlighter, blush, Rare Beauty everything. Everything that I've tried from Rare Beauty so far is so good. So definitely would recommend this. Kind of random, kind of funny. This was the first of makeup that I could use. And the first kit that I bought was from Bare Minerals and it was all like powder makeup, which I actually love the look of powder makeup. On my face, it's more matte, but I feel like it looks very natural and I loved it. I haven't repurchased Bare Minerals since then because it lasted me so long. And then at that point I started you know, playing around with more liquid foundations and stuff like that. And I just never went back to it. But this is the last long standing little bare minerals thing I have from that kit. And I haven't finished it, but I, whoops, I don't use powdered, con oh shoot, I got that everywhere. Oh, oops, but I don't use powdered concealer anymore. I like my Kosas concealer a lot and that is what I use. So I just will never finish this. Do I recommend it? Yes, 100%. I think it was great, especially for like a first time, like just getting into makeup. This was great, but I won't repurchase it because I found things that I like a little bit better. Like the Kosas concealer is great and I just like how it looks better on my skin. I really don't wear a whole lot of makeup still. I am wearing the e.l.f. Hydro or the Halo Glow, the e.l.f. Halo Glow foundation and then a little bit of brow gel and mascara That's and a little bit of blush. I guess that's like all I'm wearing, but I, I don't think I'll repurchase this because I don't really wear a whole lot of powder products at the moment. Maybe in the future when things go back because trends are always changing to dewy, glowy, and then matte and whatever. So maybe one day I'll go back, but as for right now, I'm not repurchasing. This has been a lifesaver in Colorado. Being pregnant, my nose is always so bad and I've been using Flonase lately and it's been helping a little bit better. If you've been pregnant, you may have experienced this, but I'm congested 24 seven. I'm congested. I've been congested this entire pregnancy and I finally found something that works that is not bad for the baby. So my doctor recommended this, tried this, it's working great. I have gone through probably so many bottles of this. It's like insane, but it's working, so I'm using it. Okay, don't go away, we're getting there. There's a few more products that I have gone through and loved. Fenty Beauty, this concealer is really good. I would recommend it, I like it, I would repurchase it. Did I repurchase it? No, I got the Kosas one and I like it a little bit more. I have nothing bad to say about this. I think that this was a great concealer. The only reason I wouldn't repurchase this is because the Kosas one is a little bit lighter weight. So if you like a more, like this, this is just like a heavier concealer. I don't know. What's the word for it that I'm looking like? Kosas is more sheer. And I like that because it looks a little bit more natural. But if you're looking for like a full glam, this is a great concealer for you. And I'm sure you would absolutely love it. Fenty Beauty has great beauty products and I have nothing bad to say about them. I just went through this whole bottle and it was getting old. I could tell that it was, it was like oxidizing on my face a little bit faster and stuff like that. So earlier, but this product is a game changer and you can slick everything back. I use it on my eyebrows. This is my eyebrow gel right now is just this got to be brow gel or whatever you want to use it for. And you can get it at a lot of places. I'll link it below. 
Definitely recommend, love it, will repurchase. We need to speed this thing up. Okay, the last thing, is that the last thing? That's really the last thing that I wanna talk about. Okay, We're, we've almost made it. But the last thing I wanna talk about is Drunk Elephant, which I'm surprised I don't have any other empty bottles of Drunk Elephant products in here because I love Drunk Elephant and I love all their skincare stuff. It's all so good. One product that has stuck with me that I have gone through a couple bottles of and I'm on, I think it's my third bottle, but the, let me tell you why, because that does seem like a lot. But this is the facial oil from Drunk Elephant. I love how it doesn't break me out. It's a great oil. This is why I had to toss this one away and get a new one is because Lila played with it and broke the inside and there's glass inside. So I don't wanna put glass in my skin and cut myself or anything like that. So this bottle had to go, I had to get a new one, which sucks because this is the bigger bottle. So this is a very kind of expensive. I think this is like $70. It's very expensive, lasts a long time. And I love having that super glowy, dewy, hydrating face. And again, like was it, like one of the only face oils that didn't break me out and just really good, luxurious quality. So I definitely would recommend this. This is the Drunk Elephant face oil, like I said, love it, would repurchase, have repurchased, and yeah. Well, that is everything that was in this bag that I have been hanging on to. I'm excited to toss those, get rid of them, get them out of my house before we move. And if you made it this far, and like I said, everything will be linked below. If you wanna check out any of the products, try anything for yourself. Let me know if you use any of these products or if there's anything that I should be trying in the future that you think I would like better than what I've talked about. Let me know, I'd love to hear it. And if you made it this far, make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button so you never miss any videos going forward. And let me know what you wanna see in the next video and I'll see you next time.